response. Here was another honest product review so that you can make the buying decision that's right for you. Today we have the fully adjustable set of coilovers by JRI. Now this set of suspension is adjustable for ride height and compression damping. I did a recent video which compared the JRI one-way adjustable shocks to the Bilstein one-way adjustable shocks. If you haven't watched that video yet, it's definitely worth a look. Let's take a closer look at this set of suspension so that we can see how this differs from the JRI and the Bilstein one-way adjustable shocks. Just like the one-way adjustables, these are also adjustable for ride height. Loosen the locking ring so that you can turn the adjustment ring. Turning the adjustment ring up lowers your ride height, while turning the adjustment ring down compresses the spring, raising your ride height. Unlike the one-way adjustable JRI, this shock is adjustable for compression damping. In a very basic explanation, damping controls the oscillation of this spring by absorbing shock. Some of you might be wondering why I'm saying damping and not dampening. Many people, even professionals, use both words interchangeably. Don't get me wrong, they're both words, but dampening is something that happens to the opposite sex when they see me in a cheap tank top, or something that might happen when you walk out in the rain. Damping is something that happens when your wheel contacts a bump and your suspension compresses. Whatever, you can call it whatever you want, I just don't want there to be any confusion. To adjust the compression damping on these shocks, there's an adjuster at the bottom of the shock that you can turn by hand. Click by click you can make damping softer so that the slingshot deals with bumps more like a softly sprung car. Or you can turn the adjuster the other way to stiffen the ride for track days or performance driving. Alpha Power Sport included an operations section in the instructions. In this section they give you the basic guidelines on where to set the adjusters for various conditions. If you turn the adjuster all the way to the right until it stops, this is referred to as zero clicks, and it's the stiffest setting available. There are about 55 functional clicks going the other direction. As delivered, they're adjusted 35 clicks toward the soft in the front, and 30 clicks toward soft in the rear. Now that you have an overview, let's install these shocks on the slingshot and see how they perform. I really want to test how these shocks handle bumps in the softest setting. So I've raised my ride height quite substantially and I've set the shocks to the softest setting. Now I know compressing the springs like I've done is going to give me a stiffer ride, but I don't want to damage the lower dam because we're going to go about 40 miles per hour down this bumpy gravel road. I don't recommend that you do this, I just want to satisfy my own curiosity. It handled so well, in fact, that I brought my buddy in to enjoy the experience with me. We made a toast to the new off-road capable slingshot. <laughs> Okay, enough screwing around. Let's readjust the ride height and see how this suspension makes the slingshot handle on the road where it actually matters. Out on the road at proper ride height, the ability to absorb bumps on the softest setting was definitely great. To my surprise, it wasn't quite as soft as I thought it might be. I expected it to be sort of lofty and wallow around corners, but it didn't. Body roll was present, but it actually wasn't all that bad. 
I set the compression dial to the preset adjustments that Alpha Power Sport recommends for everyday driving. This setting was pretty good even for some spirited driving. However, after playing with it, I found that I much preferred dialing that compression up to the point where the slingshot was actually more playful around the corners. Pushing it hard with the stock rubber, I could induce some very controllable understeer that was fun to correct with my right foot. You can probably hear my tires squealing a bit around this corner. Let's take a look at this corner again in slow motion. I want you to see the lack of body roll once you dial up the compression. I set the suspension to about 20 clicks. It corners very flat and still actually handles bumps well on that setting. Okay, so what I've done here is I've stiffened up the rear shock and I've softened up the fronts in an attempt to get a little bit better weight transfer for launching. Now I'm not on a prepared surface and I'm using stock crappy Kenda tires so we'll, we'll see how it goes. This first time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ease forward, I'm going to let the clutch out and I'm going to floor it just to see where the traction's at before I try to get a good launch. Okay here we go. That obviously spun the rear tire still, but I did hook up sooner than I did before. Let me try it again. I'm going to try it with the launch this time. It's a little better, but she really still likes to spin. Again, I'm using stock Kenda tires that that are worn and I'm on the street so with a stickier tire on a track surface it's going to be a little bit better but don't expect that because you buy these shocks and you set them up for drag racing that you can buy a turbo and, and a stickier tire and you're just going to hook up like glue it's probably not going to happen but it is a little better I'm going to say that these shocks in a word are awesome I mean, you can dial them down for a road trip and uh, they're comfortable. I don't have to worry about being sore at the end of the day, especially with these seats. Um, it, it really gives it an upscale feel when you dial them down soft. And at the same time, you can dial them up and play with it to suit your riding style and adjust so that the slingshot behaves around corners the way you want it to. I think that's really cool. I want to talk about the suspension on the soft side of things because I was actually really surprised. I expected it to be so soft that it wasn't like you were driving a slingshot when in fact that it wasn't. Um, I still felt like I was driving a sports car. Now that's not a complaint. Uh, that is actually better for me. That's what I would prefer. So that if I was taking a trip and I wanted to set it all the way soft to cruise down the highway, I could do that and not be afraid to rail on some corners if I came up on some. So it actually suits my needs really well. And don't get me wrong, it's plenty soft enough. It, it'll go over bumps and absorb them all day and, and it'll make it feel really upscale like I said a minute ago. Um, but it's not, it's not like a Cadillac. It's not like, you know, an old 1972 big boat of a car with really soft suspension, which in my opinion is good. If I were to compare it to something to give you sort of a rough idea how soft soft is, I honestly think my recent experience driving a newer Mazda Miata was a little bit similar to it. In fact, I think the Mazda Miata actually has more body roll than the slingshot did with this suspension on the softest setting. Here's the bottom line for me. Going into this review, I thought I was going to put my Bilstein shocks back on here simply because they had blue springs which matches my paint job better and I thought they were close enough in performance to the one-way adjustable JRIs. But after running these shocks, I got to say, there's no question about it, I'm keeping these. I wouldn't care if the springs were painted pink and riddled with glitter, the, 
this is what I'm going to use. Not for aesthetics, just because I love the fact that they're versatile. I love the fact that I can dial it up on compression and make the slingshot behave the way I want it to around corners. That's the most important thing for me. If you want an upgrade that's far better than the stock suspension, but you don't really want to fiddle with anything, you're not going to go wrong buying any of the one-way adjustable shocks that are available at slingmods.com. But if you want versatility, and you want the ability to soften it up enough to go on a long road trip without worrying about being sore, these shocks are going to be really tough to beat, and that's what I would recommend. Be sure to watch the install video for the one-way adjustable shocks because it's the same procedure for these shocks. And if you think these shocks are right for you, as always, you'll find the best price at slingmods.com. If they're not right for you, like I always say, keep your money in your pocket and your eyes on this channel because we're going to be bringing you some more cool stuff really soon. Come on, say it. Increased hypothalamus. Oh, I will.